Welcome to today's video where we are going to discuss part one of this new series called five Excel tricks you need to know. So the first trick we are going to discuss is how to insert a trend line into Excel. So we, you've got this huge data set and you want to see the trend over this last year, for example, in sales. So to insert the trend line, you're just going to click on the cell where you want to insert it. We're going to insert at the top here. And over to the spark lines section in your ribbon, we are going to insert a line. And then it will ask us what data range we want to insert. So we'll just select our whole year, all the months, and press OK. And there we've inserted a trend line into our spreadsheet. And this just helps make your spreadsheet look good and it helps it to look more efficient. Uh, so we just can auto fill this through. We'll see all the trend lines and whatever it happens here. If we enter just a bunch of zeros, you'll see how our trend line constantly changes. So this is a great method to get an interactive trend line going on your Excel spreadsheet. So the next quick trick you need up your sleeve is the auto sum method. And normally how this will work, you will just click on this and you'll type in sum and you'll put in your selection and you'll do that. And you can even auto fill this or you can manually type this in. But what if I told you there is a much quicker way to do this? So there are a couple of methods. Uh, and the first one is we are going to select all of our data that is applicable to this. And there we can head over to the formulas tab at the top here. And in that ribbon, you can go to this auto sum section. And we click on the drop down and we can click sum over here. And you'll see all of our data has been summed correctly. And that is our first way. The Just to note, the same formula that's in here at the formulas tab is actually in the editing section in your home ribbon. So if you go into there, it will do the same. So let's go back to the selection in the home ribbon, go there, click on sum, does the same. So that is the first method actually that we can use for that. The next method is to select your cells, your open cells that you want to sum. And we'll select all of these. And when we've done that, we'll press the Alt button and the Equal button in, on your keyboard. So Alt, Equal, and you'll see it auto sums all of your data, all of your relevant data. So that is the auto sum, a really quick way to auto sum all of your cells. I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. And please remember to like down below and comment if this is helpful. And if you have a neat trick of your, up your sleeve that you want to share with us. So the next trick we're going to discuss is the auto average. So don't be that person that goes and says equals to average and you type it and you do all of this manually and you this is just wasting your time. There's a much easier way to do this. And it works the same as the auto sum that we've discussed earlier. So we'll select, I'm just going to show you, select all of our data. And we'll head over either to, in your home ribbon, to this editing section over here. Or in your formulas bar, we will go to that ribbon and click on average. And you'll see all of your data has been averaged. This works pretty much the same. Anything that you go over here and you click on it, it will do that for you. It's an easy, quick way 
to spare a couple of minutes uh, rather than typing everything manually out. Hope you enjoyed this tip, guys. So the next trick we will be discussing is using the H stack formula in Excel. So when you've got your data in separate tables like this and you want everything displayed in one table, as you can see at the top here, so this is our example, this is what we're aiming to achieve. So we've got everything separated and we want to get this. So in your cell where you want your table to start, we're going to type equals H stack. And by doing this, you can see it asks for our arrays. So the first one, I'm going to select our sales categories. Uh, you can select these together with each other, but I'm going to select them separately just to show you. And I'm going to press control or hold control and select all of my months that I want in my stack. So by doing this, you'll see the formula at, at the top here. And by pressing enter, you'll see everything has been stacked together. So I'll just give that borders. And anything that I change on this, on my original tables, you'll see it changes on the stack. So whatever you do, this, if you work in your original tables, changing values or whatever it may be, it will change on your stack. So for our final Excel trick in this video, we will be discussing how to calculate the time difference between dates. So as you can see, got a couple of dates here and there are a couple of difficult ways to calculate the years, the months, even the days between these two dates. So to simplify this, we're going to use the formula date diff. So in this column, I'm going to type in my date diff and I know Excel doesn't recognize it here, but if I can click on this, you'll see the formula does exist. Maybe yours will actually recognize this formula and just go down here. There's a lot of information here, uh, but you can see the syntax that we're going to use. It's the starting date, the end date, and the unit. I've actually made a video on the time difference. Um, if you want to go watch that, uh, please go to our channel. It is quite helpful. So getting back to this formula, now that we've typed it, uh, we're going to enter our starting date and then our end date and then we will be entering our time period so i'm going to do a y so obviously that will calculate the year difference between these dates so if i press enter you'll see it just i'm just going to auto fill this so you can see our difference six year difference between these two dates. And if I go to this formula and I'll type in an M and you can see the months between these dates. So you can go and calculate that if you want. You can even fill in the days between these dates. So there are a couple of methods, uh, Y being your year, M your month, and D your, your days. But if you click on your formula here, you can actually go and have a look at your couple of options that you have here. There are a couple of options if you want to go and read through this. But thank you for watching guys. This is our five Excel tricks that you need to know and that can potentially help speed up your day working in Excel. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and please comment down below your Excel tricks that you want to share with us. Uh, maybe we'll include that 
in our next videos. And thank you for watching us. Until next time, cheers.